learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. So it's very nice to have you. I I'm very thankful that you uh, that you decided to join me uh, this evening and uh, to tell about Tantra Path. I know that uh, some people knows you uh, from my teachings, from my describing you, and uh, nobody see you. Uh, so I just wanted to meet uh, them uh, with you directly here on Instagram and uh, first thing I know that a lot of people uh, like they are asking me uh, the people who don't know uh, nothing about Tantra and they are just for example my friends or just uh, they didn't met any Tantra teachers yet and they are asking what is Tantra I heard something that it's something about sex you know and uh, and I say, no, no, it's not only about that and uh, and uh, it's much more and uh, how you could describe for the people who never went to any Tantra workshop, uh, what is Tantra for you and uh, in short way, like, what is Tantra? Uh, it's love, <laughs> it's the shortest way. <laughs> uh, it's uh, teaching about uh, love, uh, how to love better and do it. Do it. That's Tantra for me. And of course, there are many, many definitions uh, of Tantra. Uh, depends from uh, the path uh, who uh, anyone choose. Uh, some people uh, can be uh, path to enlightenment. Uh, for me, it's a uh, uh, path to uh, learn how to love better and uh, do it. So that's for me. Uh, yes. I always... Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I call it, uh, because people are asking what kind of Tantra I teach, I call it, uh, I teach uh, my Tantra. But what I like to learn, it's uh, your Tantra. Uh, so. Uh, through experience, I share with you experience, mainly I teach through experience, and then you get from this experience your experience, and you can create your own path. I want to be yeah. a guru, I like to allow you to find an aspect within yourself. Uh, that's empowering, that's my way of sharing love. It's all about sharing love. A lot of people, they don't know how to share the love uh, before they get into... Uh, they don't know even how uh, to love uh, themselves better. They feel uh, that they don't love themselves. So what do you think? Is, is it possible um, to... Like, what is the best way to start? To, to, love, uh, like, to love myself or... Uh, First, if I don't love myself, start to share the love, and then maybe I will love myself more. What do you think? Where, where is the start? Like to share or to love first me, myself? Uh, uh, love is energy. It circulates in both ways. Uh, sometimes when we love someone else, uh, uh, we can uh, that way uh, uh, find a way to love ourselves. But uh, usually, when we start loving ourselves, uh, that's the beginning. Uh, when we love ourselves, uh, we can love much better the others. But not more unconditionally. Uh, because if we love ourselves, uh, we um, uh, create uh, ourselves uh, such an abundance of love uh, through. This is, uh, this is making we generate so much beautiful energy beautiful love uh, that uh, w uh, for ourselves then we can share that love with the others and uh, then 
uh, we share it from abundance. Uh, so we create the relationships uh, we love, uh, not out of need, but out of uh, abundance. We uh, want to share because there is so much uh, that we want to just share. Uh, so there is no need to be loved, n no need to love someone, but it's just abundance of, uh, I feel we can together uh, uh, create even much more love. And huh. when we love someone, uh, it's coming back to us, it circulates and it multiplies, it's uh, going, uh, expanding. Yes, flows. true. What do you, uh, like, how did you find Sandra? I know that uh, I met you and uh, that was my first meeting with Sandra. Six years ago, I met you at the Rainbow Gathering and it's changed my whole thinking about love, about sexuality, about everything. And uh, that's how I met Sandra. But how the uh, how any uh, teachers are finding a Sandra? You know, they live just a regular life and uh, one day you uh i don't know joined some workshop or uh, met some teacher how did you find this path what was the first influence so um yeah maybe uh, shortly i'll tell my story a bit uh, so uh yes uh, uh i was uh, like typical uh, average uh, guy uh, Addicted from um, alcohol, uh, smoking joints, uh, a lot, much too much. Uh, every day, starting the day from rolling joints and so. And I was addicted from sex. Uh, and uh, yes, um, I didn't had happy life. The sex uh, at that time was bringing me down to um, deeper addiction from it. I was never satisfied and I was looking for some uh, harder stimulations, harder even perversions, whatever it was from uh, the need. And then, uh, uh, yes, um, um, life gave me, gave me one of the biggest kick in my life. Uh, uh, my uh, wife left me. Um, and uh, I enter um, the half year of my deepest and longest depression in my life. But uh, uh, yes, uh, I wanted my uh, ex-wife to uh, come back to me and uh, I changed my life. So uh, I uh, uh, stopped drinking, I stopped uh, smoking, I uh, uh, put all my porn magazines uh, to the garbage and uh, uh, I uh, start to work regularly uh, with my ex-wife uh, money for my daughter for them uh, and uh, yeah with the wish that she would be back she like yes I uh, had my uh, favorite shirt uh, uh, be realistic uh, demand impossible uh, and uh, for me, like all my uh, friends were saying, let it go. Uh, she would be not back with you. Uh, she's in love with someone else. Uh, um, he's a good guy and whatever. And uh, impossible came, uh, but in other way. I never felt that I could uh, uh, start to love someone else. Uh, I was not interested with any woman for half a year. Um, I, uh, I was not interested with uh, sexuality at all. I was living in celibacy. And then uh, the impossible came. Uh, I uh, became friend with someone. Uh, and after uh, the first week, uh, even I didn't believe this may happen. Uh, I was feeling that I will love my uh, ex-wife till the end of uh, my life, uh, because that's how MTV songs are telling us. And yes, uh, it uh, it happened. Uh, impossible. I fell in love uh, with uh, another woman who introduced me into tantra, into yoga, uh, into sacred sexuality. Um, 
Yes, uh, we had a great book uh, written by Margo Anna, uh, The Path uh, to the Sexual Ecstasy, uh, The Tantric Path to the Sexual Ecstasy. Uh, and uh, we studied that book. Uh, we uh, were uh, practicing that book. Uh, and uh, yes, that was my first teachings. Uh, and uh, it, it was amazing. It's, I think, one of the best uh, um, things that happened in my life. Uh, Tantra, uh, ability to. transform this sexual energy from addiction into the sacred sexuality uh, what now I'm proud of my sexuality uh, uh, I I see it uh, as a sacred sexuality uh, what uh, I understand uh, what I feel is one of the most uh, beautiful most close most uh, uh, intimate uh, and also uh, in the tantric way most uh, energizing uh, expression of more and more unconditional love uh, mm -hmm. so uh, also like healing uh, not uh, traumatizing not uh, being in addiction but sharing love uh, out of choice not out of addiction so uh, yes uh, I'm, um, yeah uh, and uh, in some moment I felt okay I want to teach because I want to share uh, this love with the others. Uh, I'm uh, coming from an um, activist background a uh, uh, long time ago, uh, like eight years ago before uh, I uh, started to teach Tantra. I used to do uh, any activism that was the most efficient in my way, so I chose to be video activist. I was filming uh, a lot and supporting uh, a lot of good things with my filming. Uh, but when I experienced Tantra, I felt like, wow, it changed my life so much. I feel people have to know uh, about this uh, wisdom, about uh, uh, this uh, love. Uh, and uh, I, I, I felt very strong calling to share that uh, wisdom. And since eight years, I'm uh, sharing love uh, to Tantra. <laughs> Nice to hear the story. I, I feel that uh, a lot of people can relate and uh, that's why it was this idea to share uh, this live and open interview. I know that today is a celebration of your name, so it's uh, <laughs> congratulations. And I know that uh, today um, you had some... Uh, you, you mentioned that I want to celebrate it in conscious way. And uh, I know that you did some rituals. Uh, maybe if, uh, if we could ask uh, what kind of uh, celebrations in, uh, in a uh, conscious way did you did and how we can celebrate in conscious way, for example, birthdays or names days or, or, or anything else. Maybe the date of the weddings for couples. Like what did you did? Um, I celebrate, it started uh, from uh, uh, yesterday, uh, I was in the town uh, fixing my food, uh, so taking care for myself, uh, and uh, as I was in the town, uh, I don't go too often, then I uh, get uh, myself and to the, for the community a small uh, gift uh, 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 um, small uh, but the biggest uh, possible to find uh, um, uh, swimming pool uh, so yes we can uh, um, every day refresh ourselves in small swimming pool it's uh, so it's loving ourselves the other ways and uh, yes I am um, uh, I uh, um, felt to uh, celebrate it uh, with uh, my friends, uh, and uh, but in the end, uh, two of my friends uh, are here. So in the moment, I decided okay, I go bring them some uh, 
papaya tea will help them with their fever and so like so uh, and then um, I was just feeling okay I'm uh, just want to enjoy life the way how I like to so uh, watch some nice movie I inspire uh, meaningful uh, and uh, like the last the uh, moments before this interview I was just watching uh, meaningful songs uh, on YouTube uh, <laughs> uh, get some uh, nice inspiration to search for, for this interview <laughs> so that's my celebration today but um, yeah mm, uh, what I'm still uh, up to um, it's uh, I guess the uh, Lockmaking is uh, my ritual, uh, one way or another, um, that I do it almost on a daily basis. I don't have set up hours or whatever, but uh, yeah, and if I don't have a partner uh, at the moment, uh, then uh, I do self-pleasuring rituals uh, to uh, energize myself, to give myself love. And that's uh, maybe one way uh, we can turn it a bit into a more practical. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, by uh, like Tantra, uh, for me very essential in Tantra uh, is uh, healing sexuality, uh, it's transforming uh, the sexuality. So healing sexuality from uh, shame, from guilt, uh, from past uh, traumas, uh, things would happen to us. Uh, especially to the women very often, more often. Um, um, and healing from uh, addiction, uh, from sexuality. That's what I healed uh, myself a lot uh, through my tantric path. And then, um, yes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, when uh, I was uh, addicted from sex. I used masturbation uh, to lose the energy and to fall to sleep. It was my kind of like a way to go, uh, like make myself tired to go to sleep. Uh, with uh, tantra, um, through I call it uh, not masturbation anymore. Uh, uh, through self love rituals, uh, I uh, bring this energy uh, upward to the heart uh, mainly that uh, I'm more loving myself and uh, more loving the others more connected with myself and more connected with the others and uh, thankful that I sometimes I use it uh, to uh, the way how to energize myself how to uplift my mood how to uh, uh, um, feel good about life how to uh, even heal myself uh, I, I, like uh, when it happened very often uh, very rarely uh, it, it happened that uh, i may have headaches uh, i'm very uh, healthy uh, thankful tantra as well um, when i self-pleasure myself or w when i uh, uh, do love making in tantric way uh, then uh, i can uh, heal myself from small headaches from uh, uh, yeah, small things. Uh, so, so yes, uh, um, in Tantra, uh, we uh, not uh, lose the energy through the uh, ejaculatory orgasm or through the clitoral orgasm, uh, like uh, uh, you do in typical sex. Uh, but in Tantric lovemaking, we bring uh, this energy uh, to the heart. Uh, and uh, uh, in that way, because we don't lose this energy, uh, we can continue. Uh, it's like we transform the minutes uh, of lovemaking, uh, uh, or, uh, minutes of typical sex, uh, actually, into hours of lovemaking. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, in the same time, we free ourselves from uh, addiction because uh, we always uh, finish satisfied. From, we have abundance of uh, ecstasy, uh, so we don't have to uh, have this sexual drive to uh, keep on uh, searching, keep on looking, keep on uh, uh, wanting. Uh, we have so much that 
I'm good, you know? Iya. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know that it's very hard to um, to describe it uh, in on internet uh, like this, but uh, I know that a lot of people um, during this quarantine they wants to uh, know themselves better and uh, and you are talking about the energy bringing up and uh, I know how to do that because I was at the workshops. But uh, can you tell maybe online how um, how people can uh, train themselves to bring that energy up? Because it sounds for people who don't know nothing about tantra, it sounds okay. So how I do that? Just uh, using my mind or some breathing techniques or how how? So um, um, yes, uh, I will. Uh do my best do it i will bring some uh, drawing what uh, will help us as well so uh, let's start from uh, uh, beginning like uh, from uh, two uh, like golden advice uh, what i can give uh, not just for the uh, sake of uh, improving your uh, sexuality but uh, also for uh, many other reasons uh, for improving your life in general So um, uh, one is uh, the uh, PC muscle, training the PC muscle. So it's a Kegel muscle, uh, also called. Um, and it's the muscle uh, what we use uh, to stop uh, peeing. So uh, now it's your homework uh, when you go uh, next time to pee. Uh, you uh, stop a few times, force yourself to stop uh, peeing. And, uh, When uh, you recognize which muscles are you using, uh, there are many muscles, so make sure that you just use those what uh, stop uh, urinating. Then um, you start uh, to uh, like uh, you squeeze it uh, like uh, I squeeze my fist, uh, like um, and. Um, Uh, I'm doing it right now. Uh, you will not see me doing it, uh, and uh, doesn't take my uh, uh, attention, doesn't take my energy. It gives me energy, so uh, it doesn't cost me nothing. But it gives me uh, so much benefits, uh, not only on the sexual levels, uh, but uh, also on other levels. It gives me so much uh, benefits more than uh, any training of other muscle uh, may do. It brings me, uh, gives me the benefits on. Uh, Uh, energetic levels. They use it uh, for the same reasons. Uh, to not lose the energy, uh, they use it in Qigong, in uh, Tai Chi, in Yoga. Uh, so, uh, yes, you um, uh, benefit on self-esteem, on your uh, strong will. Uh, uh, you benefit uh, on your mental health. Uh, you benefit, of course, uh, on your uh, Uh, health, especially around the genitals, uh, uh, around your belly uh, area. So, so yes, uh, the list is very long. And, uh, it costs you nothing. Uh, and you start like with every muscle. You start uh, squeezing it uh, and training. So I would suggest uh, within one week uh, you build up uh, slowly, uh, up to uh, three times hundred squeezes. So. Uh, in total you do like 300 squeezes per day after one week you don't start from uh, but you start maybe from uh, three times uh, 20 or 30 uh, and then you build up uh, at every day 10. it's like with muscles if you overdo uh, training the pc muscles it can be very painful so uh, build it slowly yes uh, take one week to Uh, and then uh, it's less than five minutes. You can do it when you uh, read a book, uh, you can do it when you brush your teeth, uh, then you uh, remember uh, to do it twice. Uh, and, uh, so, yes. Uh, and then, uh, yes, I guarantee that if you uh, train it for one month, uh, I can bet with you uh, that uh, uh, you would be very thankful for this information. Uh, even if you will lose the bet for any price. That's how sure I am. It's one of the golden advice. So then uh, another golden advice is more simple. Uh, it's uh, observe your breath. 
as often as you remember about that. It uh, brings you into here and now, into the present moment. Uh, it's used in uh, many uh, teachings, uh, meditations, techniques, and so it opens the bridges uh, to other dimensions. Uh, so, so yes, it uh, uh, trains you to be present in, in the love making, and so. So yes. Uh, um, so that's two advice, and now I will go uh, uh, to get the drawing. Uh, then I can explain you more uh, about. It. Okay, I know that Michal has some techniques. He he draws sometimes uh, diagrams. I already uh, talked about that in my workshops, uh, but I never draw it. So now you can see it. Uh, Very big. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Mm, okay. Let's. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I think, yeah, it's the word that I use, uh, uh, okay, you see it, here is the time, yes, uh, okay, so this is uh, what you want to see, yes, energy, ecstasy, uh, so yes, uh, I will uh, explain on this drawing uh, the differences between uh, typical sex uh, and uh, uh, tantric love making. So, um, the me this is typical sex, yes, and this is one of the way of tantric love making. So, uh, um, average man, uh, it's uh, he doesn't need uh, foreplay. Uh, for him, foreplay uh, it's something what. He read in some sexual books uh, uh, that the woman needs, so he, they do it, but they do it less than 10 minutes. What mostly is uh, uh, too little for most of the women, um, and especially for uh, their yonis, uh, that's how we call the um, vaginas in Tantra. So after uh, this uh, less than 10 minutes uh, uh, foreplay, um, the penetration starts, and uh, uh, again, in average, uh, within um, seven minutes, the man uh, reach a so-called point of no return. Um, the moment when uh, the ejaculatory orgasm will happen. And what happened next, uh, after? Yeah? Energy is low. <laughs> So no, she, uh, my, my, uh, very often uh, 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 someone always guessed it like uh, he uh, is saying darling I love you so much but now I have to go to sleep and before she answered uh, he's already snoring so um, in that cloth making uh, one of the uh, I think what uh, we do uh, differently, um, and that's another golden advice. The thing what will change the world may change the world. So I always advocate about this. It can change your life uh, completely, uh, uh, and uh, it. Uh, I, I believe if people would get educated just about this thing, small thing, uh, what everyone is capable to do it. Uh, uh, that the uh, world would become a much better place. So, when, uh, yes, it's about uh, giving uh, enough uh, foreplay. Let the woman decide uh, uh, when the foreplay should go into the penetration. Uh, when the woman uh, is ready, especially when her yoni is ready, for her it's uh, a healing experience. And even if it would go uh, after a long foreplay, the same way typical sex like this, in this aspect, that this is healing experience for her, uh, it would uh, be uh, in, in this aspect uh, tantric lovemaking. Uh, just in this aspect, yes? Uh, so uh, the uh, woman, her yoni, will rebuild the trust into the sexuality. She will feel that uh, she 
uh, was respected. She was given enough time. Uh, most of the traumas what the women have, they have from uh, very often unaware force insertion when the woman, especially her yoni, was not ready for it. So uh, yes, by just giving uh, uh, the woman uh, the decision uh, when she would like to uh, turn the foreplay into the uh, penetration, uh, you would heal her. Uh, you will rebuild the trust. You will change her attitude uh, towards sexuality uh, because her yoni will feel uh, rebuild the trust. Uh, the woman will uh, not always tell you, hey, I have headache when you mention, let's go to bed. So, so, um, so yes, um, um, I tell uh, always uh, after uh, uh, sharing this uh, wisdom, uh, hey, uh, man, uh, be a healer, always be a healer. Uh, don't traumatize the woman, her yonis. Always be a healer. Give uh, her enough foreplay. It's very. It will bring you also high, much higher, and it will uh, really heal your relationship, uh, heal um, uh, the humanity, uh, and you. Your approach to uh, be good lover uh, to uh, uh, yes uh, for the woman that she would yes start to enjoy sexuality again. So yes, um, that's another golden advice. Yes, the woman always demand uh, from the man to give you enough foreplay. Uh, so yes, and it's good for him as well. So uh, after um, uh, when the woman decide uh, about the penetration, again, excitement goes quickly, quickly up. And then, um, yes, uh, before the point of no return, uh, we do the method, uh, uh, use it, don't lose it. So uh, this method is, is similar to uh, microcosmic orbit uh, uh, guided by uh, Mantak Chia and other uh, sexual uh, Taoists. Uh, uh, so um, um, yes, you use uh, in this uh, use it, don't lose it method, uh, three parts. Uh, so you use PC muscle, breath, and uh, visualization. So now I will explain in the detail. So, so um, with the PC muscle, when you tight the PC muscle, you shut the energy up. And um, with the breath, you suck the energy up. So, um, um, yes, uh, I explained about the PC muscle. So, so you do it uh, like. When you do uh, maybe one month of your uh, training uh, with the um, squeezing uh, 300 a day, uh, then you can go, uh, or maybe uh, before, uh, you can start to combine it with, with breath. That, uh, when you uh, train it, it will come naturally during the love making. So with the breathing, you tight the PC muscle. With the breath out, you relax the PC muscle. So, and uh, you get familiar with this, yes? And, uh, and so uh, about the breath, uh, also I would add uh, the breath, it's like gas pedal in the car. Uh, when uh, uh, you are a good driver, uh, you can uh, go wild, you can go fast, you can uh, and be safe, yes? In the same way is with the breath uh, uh, and uh, movement. Uh, uh, when uh, you begin with uh, Tantra, it's good, especially for the man, that he master the slowness at the beginning. Uh, he goes into this polarity to slow down. When he slow down, he has more control over not to go over the edge, not to come. So, so, so yes, uh, uh, you can notice that uh, when you are... Uh, uh, coming closer to the point of no return, your movements are become much faster and your breath is becoming uh, more shallow and faster. Like, <laughs> so yes, uh, by slowing down the breath, uh, you can not only slow down your anger, your sadness, your pain, your fear, 
you can also slow down your excitement. So when you slow down, you are like more safe, let's call driver, yes? So um, you are more in control. So uh, this is good. And it's also when you breathe deeply, you spread the energy uh, all over the body. It's not only accumulating. Uh, so yes, um, um, then you have the third, uh, uh, third uh, uh, part of this. Uh, so I would try to uh, uh, move away from the phone to show on my body. So yes, visualization we use uh, to support the energy. They say uh, the energy follows the attention. That's why we visualize. So we visualize when we tight the PC muscle that the energy goes uh, from our genitals on the back of our spine with the breathing. And then uh, it goes to the level of the heart, to the heart chakra. And then with the breath out, uh, we relax the PC muscle and we visualize that the energy goes back to the genitals. And again, with the breathing, tightening the PC muscle, we visualize it goes up on the spine to the heart. With the breath out, relaxing the PC muscle, we visualize it goes back to the genitals. And we do five or uh, uh seven uh we feel when we need to stop uh of these circles and uh, uh, then um, uh, we can uh, continue with penetration like we brought all this access of the energy what was ready to explode uh, we brought it uh, to our heart so uh, in the sexual in our genitals, uh, we are far away from the point of no return. And in the same time, because we brought it to the heart, we are more loving to ourselves, more loving the partner, uh, more connected with ourselves, more connected with the partner. The quality of love is growing, but we keep uh, the energy. So we not finish yet, we can continue. So you can go, like you can see, that it goes like you, uh, every time when you uh, feel that or your partner feel that you are reaching the point of no return, you do this method, use it, don't lose it. And then, uh, yes, uh, uh, you continue like this and you can see after second or third time, the ecstasy level, energy level is much higher than in the typical uh, sex and you can continue and uh, yes you uh, yes the the uh, sky is the limit uh, <laughs> oh, I go to heaven. never uh, end journey <laughs> yes yes please uh, you, you experience um, much higher ecstasies than you could ever imagine uh, so uh, so yes, um, but in short, uh, about the physicality of uh, uh, Tantra, uh, how used it, uh, like the sexuality in, for the love purposes, and um, yes, I uh, like uh, I can explain uh, also. Uh, I you know we uh, uh, we are for one hour. Yes. Yes. So because, yeah. Yeah. You left uh, something about 10, uh, 30 minutes because Instagram cuts in one hour uh, the video. Yeah. Okay. So we have still 30 minutes or? Uh, 13. 13. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. So, yes, I will try to um, round it up uh, to bring it to how it. Uh, connects to the sacred uh, sexuality and how it make uh, the best use it this uh, through this uh, method use it don't lose it uh, as a um, most uh, spiritual uh, practice uh, when people are asking me what kind of uh, daily spiritual practice you do 
and uh, after me uh, i'm uh, also like kundalini yoga teacher i experience most of the things uh, what are on so called uh, spiritual market uh, i like to try new things and experience uh, feel uh, uh, and i have to say that uh, uh, nothing for me this is my opinion nothing 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 is even comparable to the energy to the love to the spirituality what uh, self love rituals uh, are giving to me or uh, what love making it gives to me in the in the distantic way mm. um so uh, um i would explain you why so um through this um, method what i use when you go higher and when you really love someone uh, very deeply when you have beautiful connection uh, it may happen uh, um, even if it happened just once you are blessed and this experience uh, it uh, uh, bring you further in your life um, this uh, you experience a, a so called uh, universal uh, uh cosmic orgasm uh so this beautiful slogan what uh, many teachings uh, are uh, sharing many religions also uh, that we are all one tantra uh, give you experience of that uh thankful this method if, uh, use it and lose it you may experience the orgasm when you feel that you're not only one within yourself that you feel uh, all each cell of your body that you feel like wow uh, i'm feeling everything i'm one you but uh, it expand it expand to your consciousness that you are one you are united this sacred union with your partner but it go further it brings you to this uh, states what uh, some teachings call uh, nirvana uh, samadhi that there is no separateness anymore that you feel i'm one one with the divine one with the universe one with nature uh, everything so so you feel one and you really when you uh, are blessed to experience this uh, it's um, uh, it, it would be uh, silly if you want to hurt someone huh. uh, want to make uh, everybody happy for me after my workshops uh, when uh, i see especially at, at introductionary workshops uh, that's always big difference people are coming a bit nervous oh, shall, uh, would i have to get my pet uh, uh, which partner i will get um, and things like this they are a bit nervous what uh, they can expect uh, so uh, when uh, they um when they uh after experiencing tantra uh, after 3 hours sometimes after just 3 hours of workshop uh, they uh, feel relaxed i see on their face i feel like their auras their energies are completely open loving they connecting they 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 uh, look with the soft eyes at each other like they they liberate themselves they happy about what they did even sometimes they go through some uh, uh, out of their comfort zone but they after they happy so so their happiness is my happiness it's really like wow it's like uh, uh, i love this work because of this moment you know like to see this difference and guide right people sometimes over the years uh, uh, to further deeper happiness and so seeing how the couples are going through all their challenges and so and they uh, they help it together they powerful together they start to do uh, amazing things like uh, like you you know it's blessing for me to meet you such a great student who brings that further uh yes i wanted to say you know like uh, one of the most beautiful thing what uh, i'm proud of myself is uh, guiding you to tantra that you that gave, you gave this uh, uh, w- w- like many gifts to the others but also like one of the 
gift what it makes made me cry and it's one of the uh, when people ask me what uh, is the best thing what uh, I uh, influenced in my life I have to say like it's your gift like what you do for the children uh, this that you bring uh, Tantra to the uh, uh, orphanage uh, with the kids uh, who are left there alone because they have uh, Down syndrome, and in the beautiful childish way, uh, acceptable for them, you bring them uh, love, like that they can hug each other, they can look into each other's eyes, that they can uh, basically do tantra, and you bring the tantra in that way. You uh, like, uh, you, I see, saw these pictures and I was crying. I was crying. Wow, it's. Uh, uh, It's uh, me who influenced that beautiful goddess uh, who uh, passed it further. So, so for me, this is happiness. You know, when I see these uh, children, it's for me, it's their happiness, it's my happiness. So yes, um, and uh, also, um, yeah, you put a lot of energy. You transform the uh, minutes of love making into hours uh, of love making and you don't lose this energy you don't ejaculate on the end you don't need you are not interested you have such a higher ecstasy that you don't think about it anymore you don't need uh, and then uh, when you have this energy what you created for hours 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 of uh, yes uh, love making is a friction it's a, a physical You know, like you do the friction, you create the energy. So, so all this energy, you uh, you want to do something. But if you feel like one way with everyone, you want to share love, yes. And um, so, yes, uh, I could guide uh, people. I could not yet guide people completely uh, to. There is many aspects what they have to uh, go through and the. One is like, okay, do it this way, use it, don't lose it, the way for, and if you love really someone, I wish that you will experience at least once this cosmic orgasm, that you will know, because when you know, you are not believer anymore, you know, you will never hurt someone else, because his pain is your pain, you know, so you know about it, you, if you believe, you know, it's not the same. If you know, it's like you know that you are hurting yourself. So this is like we are all one. It's very important. And yes, uh, but I can guide people um, to another experience, and you can have it every time, not only one time or uh, sometimes when this magic happens. But and for me, the biggest happiness is to see the happy eyes of. My beloved, usually after love making, and knowing that I influence her happiness. If I see her gratitude, her uh, like really like bliss, uh, ecstasy in her eyes, like it's uh, this love, this uh, like wow, you gave me such a gift, you know, like you uh, uh, share with me such an ecstasy, intimacy. You gave me healing, you know, this happiness in her eyes it's uh, the most beautiful moment of my life this is like for me heaven but in the same way um like the worst thing would happen in my life is to see the pain disappointment in the eyes of my beloved and knowing that i've influenced that it's like hell for me I would never do that again. It's the last thing what I would do. The lesson is very hard, but yes, I learned in the hard way. So yes, this two things that we are all one, and this another thing um, that uh, through this oneness you really feel the other person, especially when you're connected, when it's belo your beloved. Then it brings you uh, this physical aspects of tantra, using don't lose it into, in my opinion, in my life, um, 
as a, the most powerful spiritual. It's love, you know? It's, it's, it's love. So I think yes. that's kind of it. Yeah. Yes. Like to, it's something towards the end, maybe, I don't know. We started a bit late, so we still have, I think, some minutes. Uh, yeah, we started a bit later, but still, uh, I just wanted to to ask you to wish something for people, uh, but you already wished to, to uh, you read my mind and you already wished that uh, to experience this uh, this uh, the 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 higher dimension orgasm, the full body orgasm, the full. Uh, full uh, universe orgasm so this is a very good wish but also maybe you can um, for the end uh, give some tip uh, for person maybe uh, who is very who is feeling very lonely today and uh, how he can start from the beginning to love himself maybe one tip or one morning ritual or evening ritual what so uh, what would be people are thinking uh, people are thinking that um, when you are single tantra is not for you it's nothing more wrong than this uh, 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 in my uh, life actually during when i was a single i went through uh, to master a lot of things what i could not master with my exciting beautiful partner person uh, next to me uh, so um, for me, also like uh, self-love rituals, because I love myself and I really get this energy, ecstasy. Uh, it's um, different, but not worse than love making. It's uh, it's on the same level. It's not too uh, like really comparable things. So you can really go very high with your uh, when you are single. You can. It gives you advantage. That yes, you are not. Uh, um, you can really focus on your own energy, and when uh, you, you really uh, can master it much better sometimes than uh, uh, yes, when uh, this beautiful goddess who you love uh, uh, will do uh, one time uh, one ah too much, uh, too loud or whatever, it will excite you and you it will push you out of the edge. And then it will happen again and again, and then you will get the motivated. When you will be with yourself, you can master yourself. So yes, start self-love rituals uh, uh, the way, uh, how I explain uh, the use it, don't lose it method. Train your PC muscles and start, yes, from today. And yes, for the men especially, uh, I would uh, uh, also advise when uh, you self-pleasure yourself, don't uh, do it just one way, uh, uh, especially at the beginning. Uh, massage all your body, especially when you are excited. Uh, and yes, uh, for the men, I would uh, suggest uh, when you are uh, on very high uh, ecstasy, close to the point of no return, start massage your perineum, the muscle between your uh, anus and testicle. Uh, this can beat you uh, much higher orgasms uh, than you ever know. Uh, and this will also attract you to Tantra because when you will experience this, you will feel like mm, this uh, ejaculatory thing, it's just uh, nothing comparable, you know? Like, so, yes, uh, and um, yeah, for the woman, uh, yes, discover your body as well through self-pleasuring and yes, uh, uh don't be afraid to look for uh, where is your g-spot uh, uh, and play with this not only with your clitoris uh, and uh, and yes uh, so so yeah uh, i would say uh, uh use this uh, transform these uh, moments where you are have more time for yourself uh, for really like uh, yes mastering this method and nourishing your heart to love yourself and when you really stop losing this energy uh, you will feel wow uh, the life is more beautiful i love myself i love the others better it really uh, works like this you know yes so thank you so much thank you for your time 
and uh, I'm so glad that you joined this evening and I hope that it's not the last uh, this kind of type conversation between us because it's a good time to share with the world these kind of tips I think. I like it very much, it really flows uh, with you and uh, I, uh, so yes, it's, uh, I really like it and I can talk hours, uh, give more practical things uh, all the time. Uh, yes, I share um, one of my um, uh, purpose in life, uh, in life is uh, uh, to uh, share uh, love uh, and uh, love is unconditional so I my my um, ambition a bit uh, but healthy ambition uh, not uh, from uh, unhealthy ego but from healthy ego is that uh, I would uh, become most sharing person in uh, tantric circles uh, because we need to share that love and wisdom uh, so that's why I do it I, uh, I dedicate my life to this and uh, Yes, uh, uh, I uh, wish we could continue. Yeah, uh, I, I wish I wish it too. And uh, let's do this. Let's do maybe uh, every second Saturday or something. We will share this information with people. And uh, and the strong ego, it's much. Uh, uh, it's a big difference between strong ego and big ego. So I think uh, we are talking more about strong ego yes. when when you yes. want. Uh, to share yes. things with the people. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, if Jesus would not have a, a strong ego, uh, he would uh, uh, not yeah. be able to talk to the masses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. this is true. Yes, yeah, so thank you so, for sharing and uh, have a good yeah. night. And uh, I know that in Thailand it's almost night. So, yeah. Best wishes for yeah. you. Thank you. Last word, I would like to, uh, yes, there is a lot of sharing, so you can look at uh, my website, uh, also like uh, at YouTube videos, uh, Tantra Movement, and I guess uh, also in Lithuanian you can, uh, uh, at the Tantra Path, uh, your thing, yes, so check, uh, look at those things, and yes, connect uh, with us uh, through uh, Facebook, through uh, Facebook yes. page, Instagram, whatever, so, yeah. yes, uh, yeah. So follow, uh, follow uh, yeah. Just, I just want to say that people follow Michal. Uh, it's Tantra Movement School. It's a really big and really different school from other Tantra schools. So I really, uh, I really suggest this uh, to follow. And uh, Michal is sharing a lot of things uh, for free, and uh, it's the best way to start and to continue your tantric journey. Yeah. Use it. Don't. <laughs> Use it, don't Aho. lose. Yes, I hope. Share love and stay connected. Yes. Let's say. Yes. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste.